Documenting the vital importance of protecting nature and finding solutions to stop biodiversity loss has been the work that for years these two ecologists have worked on. Gretchen Dady and Georgina Mays. Two visionary ecologists who have separately developed tools indispensable to recognize and quantify the value of the services provided by ecosystems. Two women who have now received the BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the Ecology and Conservation Biology category for their incessant work to generate scientific knowledge with the aim of applying effective policies against the loss of species. Georgina Mace from the UK in the 80s and 90s defined the scientific criteria for the inclusion of species on the International Union of Conservation for Nature Red List. We developed a set of scientifically based criteria based on ecological principles and population biology whereby we were able to identify thresholds in population size or species range area uh, rates of decline, extent of fragmentation. In 2005, this red list became the reference inventory for the application of conservation policies and today includes information on 90,000 different species. Meanwhile, Gretchen Daly from the USA, a professor at Stanford University, developed INVEST, a software to quantify the value of the services provided by ecosystems to society. We've been able to create software that shows decision makers. We've developed it together with them to show where we need to invest to secure forests, secure coral reefs, and <clears throat> maintain the life support systems that are so fundamental to human well-being. 185 countries use INVEST. This tool is very useful in conservation decision making since it allows them to analyze where and how much to protect from both the political and the economic sphere. Because the conservation of nature, as the winners claim, is not a luxury but a necessity. And if we bear this in mind, we will be in time to avoid the sixth great extinction. So we live in kind of scary times in a lot of different ways. But I think there is time, and I've never been more hopeful, actually, than seeing this movement build and accelerate in which there is this awakening worldwide. We must continue fighting for the conservation of biodiversity. And as the work of the two winners has shown, the human species itself runs the risk of extinction if it does not protect the nature on which its survival depends.